Greetings. We are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. There's been another mass shooting. And this one was within a block of my own house. Come to find out, the cops knew the gunman was crazy, because they caught him making pipe bombs last year. But true to form, they did nothing about it. Maybe, there was a donut sale that day. But the shooting happened at a gay bar, so it had to be a hate crime, right? As it turns out, the crazy gunman was gay too. Or at least non-binary, with pronouns of they, and them. So no hate crime, just regular everyday murder. In reality, all murders are hate crimes. Same way with the politician, whose husband got hit in the head, with a hammer. That was a hate crime too, right? It was a Republican beating on a Democrat, right? Sorry. It was a left-wing radical, hitting on another left-wing radical. In their underwear. But let's look a bit deeper here. What's wrong with these crazy people who keep committing acts of violence? They are a natural byproduct of our atheist government. In 1963, the Supreme Court took prayer out of school. Five years later in 1968, they mandated the teaching of Darwinian evolution in the public school system. The schools in America used to teach creationism, and everything went pretty smoothly. But as soon as we took God out of the classroom, we started our dramatic downward spiral. The kids are now taught that they are nothing more than a biological mutant, floating around in a cosmological accident. So human beings no longer have any intrinsic value. It was at that same time that we had to start teaching self-esteem classes. Does that make sense? First hour, we'll teach them that they are a biological mutant, then the second hour, we'll try to instill in them, some prideful self-esteem. Hey I've got a better idea. How about we teach them intelligent design, and you won't have to worry about self-esteem, or mass murder. The religion of atheism has been taught in our government-run public schools for over 50 years now, and the consequences are quite clear. The constitution prohibits the teaching or endorsement of religion by the government. But what do the government-controlled public schools teach? Since there is no God, the universe, created itself. Since there is no God, life on earth, created itself. Since there is no God, mankind evolved, from a rock. Do they have any evidence for their little origin fairy tales? Not a lick. So the religion of atheism, and their theology of naturalism, is a complete and utter failure. Science, real science, is supposed to be observable, repeatable, and verifiable. Have any of the atheistic origin theories ever been observed, repeated, or verified? Not once. So the religion of atheism has not only failed our children, it fails to qualify, as science. But the government will continue to blame guns, instead of their own failed policies. That's because most politicians are power-hungry tyrants. They want to get rid of the Bill of Rights. They want to eliminate free speech, a free press, a free church, and they especially want to eliminate your Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. If the church is gone, and free speech is gone, and you can no longer defend yourself from a tyrannical government, then we're all toast. If we don't get these power-hungry fools out of office, America will cease to exist. We are just one election away from victory, or annihilation. Peace be unto you and your house. The reality is that America, is not our home. Earth, is not our home. As believers, Earth is only our hotel. Heaven, is our true home. But we still have to fight for freedom. For the sake of our kids, grandkids, and all our descendants. They deserve a fighting chance. The only way that's going to happen, is if you rise up, and defend truth, justice, and the constitution. Otherwise, there won't be anything left, to fight for. If we lose our freedom of speech, we lose the right to share our faith. And our faith, is the only thing worth living for. With censorship on the rise, and freedom on the decline, it's time. For a revolution.